Hey guys, I wanted to come on and basically go over the dolly bags. Yes, I've had a lot of people inquire about where did I get this bag? Well, first of all, I'm going to back up the train a little bit and talk about dolly bags in general and, and how I started to use them. Uh, when I first got into the Reborn hobby, I did not have a travel system. I did not have a carrier. I didn't have a sling. I didn't have anything to carry my babies in. And I did want to take my Reborns out with me. So I didn't know about these bags at first. I didn't know about them until a few years later. But I decided to basically go out and search for something to carry my dolls in. And when I first was trying to find a bag, I went to Walmart and I went over into their purse area where they have their pan bags and things and backpacks. And I was trying to find a bag that was going to be long enough to put my baby in. And I did find one over there and it was a beach bag. And they usually, you know, get those kind of bags in in the summertime uh, for you to tote around certain things to the beach. Some of them were shorter in length and I needed one at least at least 23 inches long that was going to fit a newborn size baby. Now, newborns, you know, they range from 17 to 20 inches. Um, Lucas is 22 inches. Here, my little helper, my little model. So I went over there with my handy dandy measuring tape and started measuring all the bags at Walmart. And I did find one and it was pretty flimsy and sorry I don't have it to show you because I threw it away because it was that old. And I used it everywhere um, until the handle broke. <laughs> and then I went to another bag that I got at JCPenney's. And that was a tote bag that they give you instead of using their shopping bag to put your items in after you buy it. You can tote it around and it said JCPenney's on it. And it was the exact same length as the bag I got at Walmart, 24 inches. And I think it was about a foot in the width. So I used that. And again, the handles were very flimsy and very thin because it's only to tote around what you purchase, bring it home and empty it out. And I was toting my Reborns around in there. So I don't have that to show you either because I threw that one away. Then I decided, okay, I want to make one. I want to make a reborn bag because after I went to the doll show, I roommated with Crystal, Life with Crystal, and she had one of these bags and I got to see it in person and I thought, oh my gosh, they are amazing, but they are pricey. Um, Susan had a booth at the Rose Doll Show in 2015, and her item sells so fast. She doesn't only make custom doll bag bassinet bags, but she also makes clothing and accessories for the Reborns. So I remember I, the Rose Doll Show and the, and the doors opening, and if you go back and watch that video, you can see Crystal running to Susan's booth. And we were all laughing about it because there was some certain things that she wanted. So anyway, to go back to the bag, um, I didn't have the money at the time to purchase one. So I went home and I made one myself with my mother-in-law. And I'm going to show you that one right now. Um, that's this one right here. And as you can see, I really love it. The fabric on the outside is cotton and the inside is also a cotton material and it's striped and it has a pocket. Um, it is about, let me see, 23 inches in length and it's about a foot. Let me, well, let me just be accurate here. It's about a foot in height. So I didn't have any kind of, basically I didn't know where to start. I just knew in my head how big I wanted it. And I wanted a bag. I wanted something that the straps were going to be more durable. And I knew my mother-in-law could sew better than me. I learned from her. And she has sewn all kinds of things in her lifetime. So when I went with her, went to her with the idea 
we basically made a pattern from scratch. We just got out paper and measured how we wanted the bag to be, how we wanted it to look, and off to the fabric store we went. And we made the bag, uh, it took us a couple of days, I wanna say two to three days, because we didn't work on it continuously because we were on vacation and we had other things we were doing. So as you can see, the straps are padded. I wanted them padded and the straps are about two inches in width. And I love this bag. I love it. I love it even more because it was something me and my mother-in-law did together. And that right there is a memory that I will always treasure. So I just, I really enjoyed this project. The only thing is it is shorter. The bag is not as long as I wanted it to be. Like this bag would be great for a newborn size baby up to a up to zero to three if you didn't have the Saskia kit. Because the Saskia kit, as you guys know, he has the one longer leg and then he has a bent leg. So um, when I put Lucas in the bag, he fits, he does, he fits. But because of this one long leg, this leg kind of has to go up a little bit. So, I mean, it works, it works, but not exactly how I wanted it. So if I had to do another bag, I would make it 24 inches long for that extra give for his length of his foot. But anyway, I use this bag now for traveling. I don't use it for my reborns anymore. So. I'm going to put my bag aside. And if you guys want to make your own bag, I encourage you to. Um, it's it's not easy. If you sew, if you sew a lot, then it, it may be easy to you. But I'm not an, a person that sews a lot. Um, I just started learning to sew about three years ago on a sewing machine. And it does take practice. And when you come up and you try to make your own pa pattern, you may not know what you're doing. So that's why I did it with my mother-in-law. And it's pretty simple. It's a simple handbag. It's nothing elaborate. It's nothing fancy. I don't have snaps or anything in here. You know, it's just a very simple bag. So when this bag was on my dream list, um, my good friend Angela from Reborn Mommy Fanatic contacted me um, and wanted to send me this bag as a gift. And of course, I was so blown away and I couldn't believe it because, you know, you know when you guys want something, but other things come precedent and you just, you seem like you want to save for it and then something else comes up or, you know, it's just one of those items that it's a want, not a need. And I always wanted one, but just never... Like I said, never had the money to buy one. So anyway, Angela contacted me. She bought this bag when she was at the doll show. I don't know exactly what year she went. But she used it one time, and that was to travel home with her reborn. And she doesn't use the bag. She doesn't take her babies out in that way. So, um, and I'm not sure if she takes her, her reborns out at all. I'll have to ask her. But anyway, she wanted to give it to me and I was floored by it. Uh, when Crystal came to visit me um, last year in November, she had Landon in her dolly bag. And oh, I just, I loved it. And hers is really cute. It's got a monkey on it. It's adorable. So I'm going to show you basically how this bag works, who made it, what her prices are because I did contact Susan and asked her some questions so I could share with you guys today. Okay, I'm gonna move Lucas right over here. Okay, now the material that this bag is made out of, um, I love. It's a material, I don't know what the material is, but it's a very washable material. So if you were to stain it or spill something on it, it I would feel that it would wash off very quickly. Um, as you can see on the outside, it's got wonderful stitching, reinforced stitching around the bag. It has snaps in the bag and around the top here. Uh, very thick handles. They're about three, three inches wide. Very nice handles. Um, like I said, the stitching is reinforced 
Love that. Nice heavy duty snaps, as you can see here. Um, she did add the satin tie as a nice little accent, so you can tie and shut your bag closed. And that's sewed in very, very nicely. And the inside of the bag is quilted. Now, every dolly bag is different. Um, so I'm just showing you this one. Um, like I said, she makes them all different uh, styles and fabrics. So I'm just basically walking through what I have. But I know they all do have the snaps. I know that because I know that Crystal had snaps on hers. Okay, so this is the inside of the bag. And as you can see, it's very wide. This little pillow here was given to me by Crystal. That doesn't come with the bag. So I put that in there for head support. Um, there is a nice pocket here. So you could put your wallet, your cell phone, chapstick, whatever, or reborn accessories. There is a tag that says... Uh, Dizon Designs because her name is Susan Dizon Gibbs, I believe. And I'm sorry if I totally butchered her name, her last name. I apologize for that. Okay, so this is how the bag looks inside. I'm going to place Lucas inside so you guys can get a better look of how he fits in the bag. I would say up to a 23 inch. Reborn could fit in here. Um, toddler? No, I don't think a toddler would fit in here. Um, or if you had two smaller babies, two smaller babies could fit in here as well. Okay, so let me grab my little model. Okay, in you go, baby. And as you can see, Lucas fits very comfortably in here. And his foot is butting up right against the edge, end of the bag, with that long, kicked out foot that he has. And he's zero to three months. And like I said, he's 22 inches long. So he has a lot of room, and the width here is really nice as well. If you had two small newborn babies or preemies, they could fit in here. Um, I've even seen some mommies, when they travel, they put two babies in here. They like stack them up. They swaddle them, wrap them up, and then put another baby in here. You could probably fit two babies in here. Um, so anyway, that's how he looks inside. And now the other very cool feature about this dolly bag is it turns into a bassinet. So what that means is you roll down the edge And I roll it right down to where the po pocket starts here. And it instantaneously becomes a bassinet for your baby. So when you're traveling, if you don't have anywhere to put your little one, they sleep right in the bag. And then you can fold it down so that way the back, you know, looks like a little bassinet. And I had remembered at the doll show, she had ones that were so beautiful and very elaborate with lace right here, lace trimming. So when you flipped it over, it really looked like a really elegant bassinet. Beautiful, beautiful. So now that I'm getting on the topic of information, I want to write to you what Susan wrote to me. Um, you can find her on Facebook and I will leave her link in the description bar. And this is what she says. Her prices vary according to style and fabric. She does not take custom orders. She says that she, um, let's say, I sell what I make with what material I have available. Um, she said she also posts bags that she finishes on her Facebook and Instagram. They sell really fast, in minutes, a matter of fact. Uh, the basic bag goes between $85 and $95. The reversible ones are $100 to $120. The traveling, 
the traveler ones are 110 and up. Uh, then she says, I have a royal one that is made out of bridal material. And that is more incurtent. Like, and I'm sure I screwed that word up. Excuse me. <laughs> but basically, way more in depth in sewing. And that sells up to 150 because there's more involved in the material, the cost of the material. She's using bridal material. So that is the way the prices work out. Uh, she does not take custom orders. Her bags sell out fast and you can reach her through Facebook and Instagram. So I will leave those links in the description bar for you guys. Um, let me go to her Facebook page so you can see what her Facebook page looks like. I'm going to bring it up here on my tablet. Okay, so this is Susan's page. When you go and search for her, this is what the page will look like when you bring it up. And I'm going to go to her photos so you can see... Let me see if I can go into her albums. Let's see. Fo albums. Oops. <laughs> okay, photos. Boy, it's just giving me a... Okay, here we go. Albums. Okay, and then if you scroll down, if you hit albums and you scroll down and you hit Dizon Designs, has that little dress right there. This will show you basically other items that she creates. I mean, they're fantastic. This woman is a master at sewing. Um, and here are some of the bags. This is one of the bags that she has created along with these down here, and it's showing how it becomes a bassinet. Look at this bag, isn't it gorgeous? Wow. I mean, just stunning, stunning, stunning bags. And basically down here, she's showing the features of the bag. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know I had a lot of requests of asking me about this, and I just wanted to clarify that I was not the creator of this bag. I didn't make these. I'm not making these bags. Um, they cost too much, honestly. Um, I know how much fabric is. Uh, unless you get it on sale, clearance, you buy it in bulk, or you go through a distributor, I don't know, um, to cut your costs down because fabric is very expensive. And the amount, I mean, look at this fabric right here she's using. I mean, so her prices are justified by the amount of time it takes to make one of these and basically the materials she's using and the craftsmanship. So I, I feel it's right where they should be for, for what you're getting in these bags. Um, I love having this bag or the bags I was using before, because if I don't want to take my travel system out, you know, it's a lot, you know, you got to take it out, you got to put it in the car, you got to put the baby in there. And let's be real, these are not real babies. So sometimes you're like, Ugh, I don't want to have to lug all that stuff out. Or maybe it's a hot day, or maybe it's a really cold day. And you've got like a f three feet of snow on the ground, and you don't want to lug out your travel system. This is where the dolly bag comes in handy. I love it, love it, love it for that simple purpose of being very handy, quick, easy to use. I can just pop him in the bag, close it up, which I'll show you how it looks closed with him inside. This folds in and it snaps shut right here. And the snaps are heavy duty snaps, guys. I love the materials that she went and used. Okay, so there it's snapped shut. And then I tie this in a fancy little bow here. And then off I go. You know, and I just pop this in the car. When I get out of the car, I pop it right into the, the grocery cart 
and he's with me or whatever baby I have, they're with me. And I know they're there, but nobody else knows that they're in the bag. And I like that because sometimes I have a lot of errands I've got to run. I've got multiple stores I need to run into. And what if I didn't want to bring him in to every single store? Well, he can stay in the bag like this, stay in the car, and I feel okay and secure about it. And no one's going to peek into my car and say, oh my gosh, you've got a baby sitting in a car seat and it's 110 outside or it's freezing outside and you've got a baby in a car seat. You know, I don't have to cover the car seat because he's in the bag. So he's safe. He's protected. And I, I just can't say enough about how I love this bag. And I encourage you guys, if you can afford to get one of these and you're a reborn mommy that maybe doesn't have a travel system, you don't want to use a carrier, you don't want to use a sling, and you just want the ultimate privacy, well, then this is definitely the bag for you. Um, like I said, she sells out very quickly. You can contact her on Facebook. She, if she has any available, I don't know her schedule. So, you know, get with her if you have any additional questions and she can answer those for you guys. I just basically gave you the general info here. So um, I just wanted to say a huge thank you again to Angela for gifting this bag to me. I truly appreciate it. I love it. And it is definitely going to be a bag I use all the time, um, whether I'm traveling or not traveling. It's just... It just comes in handy. And there's just some days, like I said, that I just don't want to use my travel system. It's not that I don't want to show my baby off. It's just sometimes I just, you know, you're just in a mood sometimes. And maybe you just don't want to have to lug everything around or you don't want to have to deal with it. You just want them in the bag and have privacy and off you go. So that's that's about it, guys. Just wanted to come on, make that quick video for you. Thank you again, who uh, everyone who called, or not called, but left me a message wanting to know about these bags. I'm glad to come on and share this information with you guys, and I appreciate you watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you guys. Bye.